Hi, how are you going? My name is James. I am the CEO and co-founder of Chargedesk. I'm just going to give you a really quick walkthrough today of how Chargedesk works within uh, Help Scout. Um, so what Chargedesk allows you to do is essentially uh, see your customer payments next to support tickets inside Help Scout. Um, so here I've logged into the, the Help Scout uh, control panel um, and I can see here the list of uh, conversations in my mailbox and I'm just going to jump into one of these. Um, so I've got a ticket here from Laurie um, and she's asking for a refund um, because she didn't want to continue her subscription. And over here on the right I can see all the payment information from Laurie. So this shows up here um, the same way as you might have it up here from a sort of a native application. Um, but you can do all the fancy stuff we, we can do everywhere else in Chargedesk. So you can see um, the payment details. So we can click on here we can see that it, this uh, payment came through a day ago. We can see our card details, the payment method. Um, we can even download an invoice if we want. Um, and also see the details of the uh, the subscription she's got running. Um, so she's asked to refund, so we can go ahead and click the refund button. We can enter a partial amount if we want, or we can just refund the full amount. Um, and this is this is going to go off, and it's going to go off live and actually perform that refund. So you're going to see immediately if it's succeeded or failed. Um, in this case, you see it's, it's succeeded. Um, and we can also go ahead and just cancel the subscription as well. So this makes it really easy to manage your customer payments inside your help desk. Um, so for example here, now that's all done, for Lori, I can go ahead and refund, uh, tell her that the charge has been refunded and that's completely solved. You don't have to use any secondary systems or any other third party software, this just works straight away. Um, so one of the other cool things you can do is you can also create charges for customers. Um, so um, we can see Mike here's got a question about subscriptions, but what I can do instead, um, I can actually create a new charge. So we've got this create charge button against any customer. Um, so I can click this, enter an amount, say three dollars um, for demo purposes, um, and this will go off and perform the transaction on his uh, save card on the account. Uh, we can also cho choose to just authorize the account, uh, the charge if we want, and then to uh, collect it later. Um, so I might just do that. So we're authorizing a $3 charge on his account. So that's gone ahead and you can see it under the charges list here. It's authorized. Um, and if I want to, I can capture this or I can void it, which basically means cancel it. Um, so it's held that $3. Um, I'm gonna capture it now. And then that charge is now gonna come through to our account. So you can see you can do quite advanced management of customer payments inside uh, inside Chargedesk. Uh, if you'd like to do anything more detailed in terms of searching your customers, um, you can click on the Chargedesk icon here up on the right, and we can go do a search. Um, and for example, if I'm searching for custom payments from Ali, who's another customer, um, we have a similar sort of interface coming up here. Um, in this panel, we can see his charges, uh, his charge history, and create new charges for him and any customer details he has. Um, also, show information like billing address as well, which is quite useful if you're performing um, physical payments to people. This can be quite useful to sort of verify and double check everything's correct there. Um, and that's it, that's just a very quick overview of how Chargedesk works with Help Scout. Um, we also support quite a few other platforms. Um, we support Stripe, Braintree, and PayPal uh, for the gateway side. Um, and we're always adding new features as well. So if you've got any suggestions, anything else you'd like to see come out of the service, please just drop us an email and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for listening.